Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Seda, the pain doctor. I help patients with pain with ozone therapy and we have a very special patient here that is uh, for the third time here. We just finished her treatments and she's going to tell us a little bit about what happened, um, where she's coming from, her name and all that. So please share with us. Okay, my name is Lori and um, I have been in pain since probably 18 years old with my lower back wow. and it just kind of gradually went to my neck uh, after three shoulder surgeries. And it got so bad that I went to um, a back surgeon mm -hmm. and I, I felt like that was my only option left. And I have a friend named Janet uh, Eggleston that told me that um, I could uh, meet with Dr. Seda. She begged me best basically to meet with him because she didn't want me to have surgery. I don't want to have surgery. I've been to chiropractors my whole life. Um, they have kept me in business, but not pain-free for very long. And um, so I came here, this is my third time here. And I would say the pain in my neck, I was almost in tears. And I am probably at this point 60% better. Mm. And I expect to be uh, a lot better. Um, sitting at my computer, typing away, uh, all of a sudden I notice my neck doesn't hurt. Looking at my phone, my neck doesn't hurt. I thought that was very strange uh, because I, I'm, I, I'm pretty much in con uh, chronic pain until now and I feel so much better. And I do know I probably need at least one more treatment, mm -hmm. but things are going very well. There you go, awesome. So it's, it's one of those things that even if you've had issues for 20, 30, 40 years, uh, there is still a lot of hope. Even if you fail surgeries or were told that the only answer is a surgery, there's still hope. Because what I've seen is that a lot of the patients, like what happened to you, you know, doctors see them and they identify maybe uh, a, sometimes if they do an x-ray, they see some arthritis. Right. Um, they do an MRI and then they see some herniated discs. Mm -hmm. And those things they can operate on and because patients are in so much pain, is like, okay, so what else I'm gonna do? Right. You already saw this guy and that guy. You already had, uh, you know, chiropractor, acupuncture, massage, or whatever it might oh, be. and lived on ibuprofen. And lived and on ibuprofen. And didn't want to do that anymore. Exactly. And then it's like, so what else is out there? And then people fall for, in a way, it's like a trap of just being so desperate that you go for the knife. Yes. And then after, and people think, I mean, I've heard it, I just want to get it over with. Mm -hmm. The only the only thing that is quick in a surgery is for the surgeon. Right. That's the only thing. Because right. you're stuck with that surgery for the rest of your right. life. And the recovery can take a year. I mean, it's not uncommon for being a year until you kind of recover. But then after the year passed, you're not necessarily much better. Right. Sometimes that way we started. Right. So we have patients that all the time that come after they fail several surgeries. Um, Headaches is another thing that we see so much. Where you having uh, headaches and, and pain up here on the neck? Slightly, sometimes, Slightly. Mm -hmm. especially the more I did on a computer or phone. Yes, yes. Um, and that's something that keeps progressing to the point that people then start having daily headaches and yes. ends up getting migraines. But all of it is about the same. So it's the knots that form that there was some injury at some point in life, you develop some of those knots, and those knots, what they do is they, it's like muscles are rubber bands. So if you have a, a a knot on a muscle, mm -hmm. it's like a short rubber band. Right. So it's gonna be pulling. Mm -hmm. So that's why you felt like, right now you can feel like you have better range of motion, you know, than before. I do, I do yeah, for right. sure. Um, and also people notice that sometimes they can look up better and it's almost like mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. neck is looser. Mm -hmm. And part of that is because the once the knots release, then you don't feel the pulling anymore. So if you're on the computer and you're looking down, for example, you don't feel that, that tension as, mm -hmm. as much because the actual length of the muscle mm -hmm. is longer because mm -hmm. it doesn't have the knot. Right. Um, so it's really interesting how that happens and uh, it's just a matter of, of finding the knots, treating them with ozone, and then they release and right. then that's it. Yes. So we have patients that, you know, we have patients that come from all over the states, Mexico and Puerto Rico to get treated for this. And I'm from Pasadena, Texas, and I've driven in three times and it's been worth it. So There yes. you go. Yes. And today you came with a friend too. Yes, I, I said, you gotta come too, her hips hurting. I'm there like, you go. You gotta come do, you know, yeah. find out what's going on and get some ozone and see how that And we just treated feel. her and she's gonna be another testimonial. Yes, Because she did amazing. Yes. Are you following me and you haven't subscribed? 
subscribe and hit that bell. Thank you. That's pretty much what happens. I mean, once you figure out, before, because we didn't understand pain, doctors are stuck. I mean, as a physician, let's say, I mean, I want to help patients with mm -hmm. pain and, and, and really was an interest of mine because I had a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. I had chronic pain. And I remember talking with another colleague and say, you know, I, I felt like I can reverse everything mm -hmm. except pain. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I just could not get it. And, and I have people that would come literally after they've seen different people, all, they fail everything and I couldn't do anything. It wasn't until I found ozone mm -hmm. and I was able to inject it in those spots that we've seen the dramatic result. And, and that's what happened to me. I had all that pain. Uh, I had migraines, headaches, a shoulder, neck pains that were, were unbearable. I mean, I would actually punch myself uh, in the back of the neck out of frustration and it would give me a little bit of relief. Mm -hmm. It's like it would numb the nerve mm -hmm. by just, I don't know, the, just hitting it. Um, and then I would feel a little bit better for a while, but then it would come back with a vengeance. Mm -hmm. um, and it was not until I got the ozone that those went away. Um, but I mean, I, I felt everything too. I mean, yeah. I went to massage therapy, chiropractor, acupuncture. Mm -hmm. I even did something called Bowen therapy, irosti. I mean, just name it. Yeah. I mean, I did all of it. I, energy healing. I mean, mm -hmm. they, tons I of things. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I, I took like the muscle relaxants, the, the, the different creams, mm -hmm. different sprays. Mm -hmm. magnesium oil I mean yeah. I, anyway I did everything and I lived in pain um, and now I mean uh, knowing what it is to not have any pain uh, you know it's it's it's, uh, it's I know I can't wait to get there and I think I'm on my way oh yes and, and that's sure. and that's the goal I mean yes. it's not it's not to manage the pain right is it's, uh, it's, it's gone it's there you go that's it's gone that's what I mean yeah, so it's, it's like it's the difference between pain management which I don't do Right. I do pain resolution. Yeah, it's a new specialty. Because most of the time, <laughs> the management's all drugs, and I don't, I don't I like know. to take Managing those. is like your teeth come in, mm -hmm. and they give you a band-aid thing, mm -hmm. and you do a little bit better, and mm -hmm. then you have other issues, and then, or even physical therapy. Sometimes, I mean, they don't, they don't fix the problem. Right. They might not be hurting you much, right? But it's not fixing the problem. Right. Um, and that's what we've seen. That once you finally are able to identify the knots, inject the ozone, re things release the inflammation goes down, mm -hmm. uh, the nerve starts repairing again, mm -hmm. you, you know, you, you regain the movement. Um, you know, interestingly, when I, uh, when I was injecting your friend a minute ago, she told me, is it normal to feel like, like, I don't know, like a release, like, a release, yeah. like, like tired or something? And I said, do you feel like, like almost like a, a weight came off, like, like some, and she says yes, like ah, mm -hmm. like she could fall asleep, mm -hmm. and that's what happens because the muscles have been tight for yes. so long. Yes, yes, for they sure. were overworking, yes. so they actually drain your energy. Sometimes I have people that tell me after the pain is gone, their energy returned. Yes, because absolutely, when you're living in pain, it's like it's really literally just draining you out once you release that that pain and also the tension of the muscles you can relax a lot so right. i think that she's going to sleep great tonight. right and i'm i'm active i like to hike i went hiking mm. went camping so i went hiking nice. a couple of days ago after just this was my second okay. back treatment yes after yes. the first one yes. i noticed it was better i could yes. do more i could climb more yeah i just i loved it it was yeah i feel like i'm getting my life back because I started yes. sitting a lot because it hurt to move. Yes. But you know, you got to move. You have so, to. So, you know, it's a double-edged sword. It so coming is. here, getting rid of some of the pain, I feel like moving now. There you go. Yeah. And people don't realize that when you're sitting down, the the actual uh, strain on the, col on the, on the spine is mm -hmm. way more. It's mm -hmm. at least 30% more pressure on the discs yes. when you're sitting than yes. when you're standing. Yes. So when people end up sitting more because they need to rest mm -hmm. without knowing, they're actually hurting themselves. Hurting themselves, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And well, I feel like that's what I was doing. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story. Thank you. and, oh, my pleasure. <laughs> and like, uh, do you have anything to say out somebody out there that it, that lost hope and you know it's in oh, pain? Oh yeah, I was there. I was there, and for me to go to a, a back surgeon, I. That was my last step. I, like you said, I tried everything. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, just having somebody really care about you and say, hey, try this instead. Because she was, Janet was on a walker when she came in here. And 
She's doing very well now. I just talked to her last night. She's, and she's out walking around with her dogs and her yes, husband and yes. just doing a great job. There and I go. really thank her for sending me here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a pleasure. Well, thank you, Janet, and thank you, everybody. And yes. share this. If you have anybody in pain, just share it, and we can help. Thank you.